the time. So, <laughs> so here we go, boom boom. Here we go. Hello, Damien. Uh, What's going to, on, man? Uh, welcome to MS Warrior Podcast. Uh, what up, I do this as often as I can to hear from different people with MS. Thank you. Uh, Ooh. You know, I hear uh, that uh, you're, you're quite a few infusions into your, into your uh, Ocrevus. Yep. Um, at least eight, maybe. Yeah. Eight. So how are you feeling yeah. from eight infusions? Uh, six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fine. I mean, I'm only using that medication because... I, um, it was the, I didn't have to keep it in my fridge. I didn't have to deal with needles. I didn't have to keep up with the schedule of remembering to take the yeah, pill yeah. or whatever. Nah, I just go to an infusion center twice a year. Yeah. That's it. So that's why I yeah. use it, you know, yeah. and so far so good. It works for me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was an Okavis. So, um, okay. yeah, that was uh, last year. So, um, obviously because of the pandemic, everything slowed down somewhat so going to the yep. hospital it, that's completely out the out the window so you, you can't yep. do that so um yeah but it, you know i found that the um not necessarily the um ocrevus that was working I, I didn't really feel anything with that but it was definitely the steroids and the steroids kick in you you feel normal for about an hour Oh yeah, man! Though you get a bunch of steroids running through your veins intravenously, you're gonna feel like you can lift a car over your head seventeen yeah. times. Yeah. There's no way that is not gonna work. However, yeah. the monoclonal antibody having this specified desired effects in your disease course that yeah. remains to be something else entirely. Right. Yeah. So that would what, slow it down. Uh... Uh, what the steroids or the yeah, the, the does it, like, not the not the steroids but the actual ocrevus itself that's going to slow down the progression. Oh uh, yeah, well uh, allegedly it's um an anti CD twenty uh molecule um uh, medicine. So the the CD twenty molecules are the ones that are responsible for starting the reactions that um eat the myelin. So the okay. med aims to specifically hit the CD20 B cells specifically to knock them out so that they do not play the role uh, that contributes to your disease progression. But it yeah. has varying effects on various people. And some people it works like a charm and like yeah. Lee Barber, it works like shit. Have you been on any of the drugs apart from Ocrevus? Or have you only been on Ocrevus? Yep, yep, I've been on two injectables. Uh, I'm, I didn't know if we can drop product names, but, uh, yes, I have been on two injectable medications. Uh, and how did you find, uh, using those, was it, um, problematic with the injectables or I, I just didn't like it because I had to take it with me if I was traveling yeah. and I had to keep it, keep it a certain temperature and then going through customs. Yeah. Uh, that's a one sort of headache. And then the other seen... sort of. I've seen a YouTube video where you do talk about that. Bro, uh, it's, it, that's yeah. a headache. Uh, so uh, that aside, um, remembering to take the medication is one thing. Having yeah. the medication stored in your refrigerator, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's another thing. Um, it, dealing with inf uh, injection site reactions is another mm -hmm. thing. So on one medication, uh, it was more mild and I really did not have too many um, side effects. The yeah. next uh, more uh, potent, more effective medication, I had the most horrible hangover I have ever felt um, yeah. every single day. And so those flu-like symptoms um, were, in my body, were the worst uh, hangover <laughs> I have ever experienced. Yeah. And I didn't even drink. And so yeah. I did that for about three, maybe four months. Uh, cause I'm a champ, but I was like, I'm not doing this no more, man. Uh, no. So, uh, eventually Ocrevus came along and I jumped the line for oh, that and yeah, been smooth. Yeah. Of course since. you're not doing the injectables anymore, but you have in the infusions. Yeah. 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 Once that happened and came along and I tolerated it well and yeah. it seemed to be doing its thing. I was like, yeah, no, so let's go. Having the infusions must free up a lot of your time. Uh, it, 
allow us a bit of freedom, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. And I, again, I'm not keeping track of medicines. I'm not um, the thing about, did I take it this week? Did I not take it this week? Or if I, I'm going to take a trip to Tahoe. Um, I need to make sure my medication's properly refrigerated along the way. Yeah. yeah. And you, you, like all, all that stuff. And then going through security. And then, yeah. uh, nah, uh, ain't nobody yeah. got time for that. Like Sweet Brown. You know what I'm saying? So the, the injectable, uh, sorry, the infusion twice a year, it really works for me. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. Um, uh, how, what else do you do on top of the traveling and, and things like that to, uh, uh, to keep you busy? What do you do? Uh, I know you're into rapping. And <laughs> you're quite, uh, you're quite no, out there when it comes to, uh, MS and uh, just being a general personality for the MS. Uh, absolutely, group. absolutely. That's why I laughed because uh, my wife was. What I find about your videos and stuff like that, you're always, always happy. You're always like um, full of energy and stuff like that. That's something that not all people with MS have, but you seem no. to be full of it you know <laughs> not at all like no it's a very difficult thing to um not even overcome to have in your life but i'm a generally shiny happy guy yeah anyway i bring the party wherever i go all the time and it's yeah. always been that way so if i'm showing up mm -hmm. i'm feeling well enough to yeah. do what i do um but no it's it's a thing to manage and i was my disease course was in a different place a few years ago as well and it was a thing to manage like i'm at work like i'm on commercial sets and i have to deal with my multiple sclerosis symptoms and i have to hold this dog and i have to hit this mark and i have to say to elizabeth banks i have to tell elizabeth banks my line and i have you know stuff like that or i'm on this set with shaquille o'neal and it's me and shaquille o'neal yeah. and i'm having to be like well i need to get through this take uh, with the big fella, but I also know that if I don't sit down in another seven minutes, we are going to have a really big problem. Yeah. So I, I, at this point in my life and career, I've gone over the line enough times to know where the line is. Like a lot of times you don't yeah. know where the line is. Uh, so you just keep going, you just keep going and you're like, and then you're flat. Uh, yeah. But I've been flat enough times to know when it's coming. And so that allows me to be able to handle my business, so to speak, uh, in the street, because I know what I need on the set. I bring all my food. I don't eat all the, I don't eat the things that they offer. I bring yeah. what I know I need. I show up well in advance. I take my time and I know what I need to get through the day, to hit the mark, to say the line and to do the job. So I'm yeah. able to manage that and it's great. Yeah. So do you ever have any uh, acting jobs at, uh, on the other side of the States where you have to, uh, you have to worry about your uh, energy levels and things like that? So how much, how much do you do in the day? At, at this point in my uh, on-screen career, the, the gatekeepers in that regard, uh, they're not, I, I, I can't grab those roles according to them. So all the all of the things that you know I can do, I have to do myself. Yeah. Uh, and so that's where the vlog comes in, and that's where all yeah, the yeah. other music videos and the partnerships and things. Yeah, I think that I know I'm capable of. Yeah. But Hollywood did not write a script that could use a guy like me right now. So, and so balancing my worth uh, with that, and knowing yeah. that hell, I am capable. Hell, I am fantastic. Hell, I do what I do very well, exceedingly yeah. well. So I'm just going to keep replicating that, and that's mm -hmm. where that's where the vlog comes from. That's yeah. where now I'm I'm making um, more content with with uh, another set of folks with, for cryptocurrency and the metaverse yeah. and NFT. That's where that comes from. Yeah. So I I'm not really chasing Hollywood in the way in which I was. Yeah. Um, like please like me, please like me. No, I'm, I'm still doing that. However, <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I, I don't care as much in the way uh, because I've got my own thing going, man. And yeah. it, um, it works with what I am working with. And I'm mm -hmm. working with multiple sclerosis. Yeah. 
something for you to edit, man. That's yeah. gonna be something. Uh, is is the yeah. sound good? Because uh, there's yeah. an AC running. Okay, all, great. All good. Uh, where great. were we? Uh, I Hell, where I don't you, know. Where are you up to? Hell, I think we were just talking about diagnosis, man, and like, uh, in yeah. spite of it, you, yeah, you're you're more the introvert, but yeah, you have this podcast. I'm the extrovert. That's why I have this yeah. this sleek looking, shiny um, uh, visual vlog. Yeah. So it, the the bottom line is that we're showing up for people. We're holding space for other people with MS. You hold space. MS. I hold space for people with MS, and you yeah. and I meet up in the middle, and it's beautiful. You know. Yeah. So, where. Where do you want to set the vlogs moving forward? You know, it's, it's I, like it's, I'm discussing this with my wife last night because yeah. if I have to make 20 minutes of video yeah. per month for the next three that are not MS related, that's a lot of video to make every month. So I'm I, I'm still figuring out how the MS vlog is uh, is really going to uh, be in my life, but I know it needs to be there. I can't just disappear. Um, so maybe it'll be biweekly, maybe. But the resource is for other people with MS and the outlet that it is for me, uh, as someone who has done 35 commercials and voiceovers and still have barely said any lines on a TV show. But I have this ridiculously um, uh, engaging uh, visual program on the internet. Yeah, I do that more. I'm not really chasing two lines on TV uh, so that I can say t five lines on TV next time. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's definitely a ladder that you do. It. And I know that I don't because I can go directly to my audience because I have 5,000 people who are watching me. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you're going to have some sort of talk show in the future? Like, I don't know, um, Arsenio Hell, Hall if I, that, I think if somebody want to give me a show, they want to give me money. I mean, I, I know I can hold space very well. Yeah. Somebody thinks if I continue to show what I am instead of, you know, uh, I can be anything. Oh, I can be, bro, I'm just showing you who I am, bro. I, I yeah. do I do the videos with, for people with multiple sclerosis. I serve this community. I'm out here. I do music videos for us. I do everything that I would do for in a in a in a script based setting. I do for me. I do for you. Yeah. I do for us. Yeah, yeah. And it's ours. And then other people look at that and they're like, "Whoa, that's really cool. Will you come and be on my show?" And I'm like, "Yeah. So I'll yeah. be on your show now. Now I'm on your show. I didn't have to audition all the things and." All the stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, definitely. So it's um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, opportunities there for you to take take forward. You know, if you want to be the next Montel or whatever. So. <laughs> nah, in, in in my my younger self, my younger self wanted to be uh, Eddie Murphy and and Will Smith, like in one. Like that was what my younger self wanted to be. Um, yeah. But I I uh, what again, man? I don't know what it is, bro. I just I've done so much and I've done enough, and I haven't done what I want to do, what I know I can do, and yeah. so I hold this space for not what I know I can do, and then I push myself a little bit more. That's why I'm making different types of content. Yeah. That's why I'm doing other things with other people because I know that I'm good at this, and I know that this serves me and people well. Um, see if it fits into something that looks similar to what I thought I wanted when I was yeah. thinking I was Eddie Murphy and Will Smith together. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll have to see where it goes from here, but um, you've obviously got the drive to make it happen, so you know, just do it. You know? <laughs> Definitely, Barbara. That, that is why I'm here right now, my guy. You yeah. reached out to me, and I'm driven to be present in this space, and I'm driven to give whatever makes me me to whoever the heck wants it. Whoever, well, Lee Barber wants to sit here and talk to you. Great, I'm here for it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I, I think 
Uh, for me, it was really important for me to get somebody on it that's uh, not necessarily um, leaning towards HSCT, which a lot of people are. Which is uh, so? It's just your your for all of us, and it's uh, important huh. for me to get as uh, you know a broad spectrum. Interesting. It's funny because I'm not. I don't myself for anything, but. Right that makes sense you look at my of course i'm i seem to be for okravis because it's what i'm on um i really even considered that as a being an element of uh of what the channel was but yeah, we just hold space man I think about hsct and so i'm like well okay so i gotta come up with 30 grand and then i gotta fly to russia and i gotta stay in the hospital for a month and then kind of almost die but not really but then after that, be frozen in his tracks. Yeah. Cool. So I'm even looking at you like, so you gonna do that, big fella? Man, yeah. when you gonna start? Oh, cause you know I'm gonna be watching you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's uh, like I say, I just wanted to get uh, somebody on the podcast that's just a, going for a different, uh, different angle. So mm. if you're in, uh, you know, going for the. DMTs or whatever it be. I mean, hmm. a, I'm in England, obviously, uh, and the people yeah. in England, uh, they get on the NHS, they will get given um, Ocrevus, but they have to ask for that. You know, like me, I ask for that specifically. Other than that, they will give you uh, the lower drugs, you know? Yeah. Wow. You found HSCT in on your own, and now you you yeah, went yeah. to yeah. to start the going HSCT forward training. with it. Yeah, uh, in, in England, you have to be on. There's a strict criteria that you have to be on two drugs and fail two drugs to be anywhere near HSCT. Uh, they they will do everything they can to uh, put you off it. My, my neurologist, for example, uh, he came back to me. Uh, a few times and said it won't work. I said, okay, in what way will it not work? You know, and mm. it's just like, well, okay, I'm going to make it. You want me to stay on all like uh. indefinitely for the rest of my life. I'm only uh. 41 now, but you want yeah. me to stay on all yeah? Yeah. Mm. yeah. You, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. The there is my life. Uh, and all <laughs> costs cost what, about $65,000 a year? A year. Yeah. And you want me to stay, stay on it for the rest of my life. Wow. That doesn't, so, you know, when you think about the numbers, it doesn't add up. Huh. You know, for, uh, oh, the HSCT in this country costs about £70,000 sterling. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you convert the $65,000 a year or $64,000 a year, it's sixty-four thousand five hundred something, I think. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, you put yeah. those numbers together, and they, they want me to be on this sixty-four thousand dollar drug for the rest of my life, mm. the numbers don't add up. They don't add up. There's some useful in the crap. Uh, uh, servicing folk to get back to their normal lives, and it's like, yeah, clearly we're servicing some other bottom line. Because you and I wouldn't be talking to each other in this way because we would have already had the the, farm, the drugs that we needed a long time ago, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so on and so forth. Like I'm I'm going through it right now with my um, pharmaceutical in my infusion center, and that's another reason why the vlog hasn't been up. Cause I'm still just trying to get my infusion properly. Cause the the I switch uh, you know care switched, and so like one old. A specialty pharmacy shipped it, um, but they weren't supposed to. Like it's a whole yeah, yeah. just dumb thing. Um, then now I'm maybe going to get scheduled this week for next week. But yeah, man, this come on. There's there's you, so you much. Have, that... You have some sort of battle with the uh, uh, insurance companies to keep funding it. Not so much to keep funding it to keep the insurance <laughs> um as a cat like me what makes a cat like me more rarefied air is that i've gotten my 
health insurance through the um, Screen Actors Guild, through the union, for oh. 10 years. And yeah. put it like bar. Let's talk numbers here for you. It costs, it costs, uh, the costs changed, but let's just keep it what it was in my mind. At the time, there were two levels of health insurance. One, the first basic level, you had to earn $18,000 through the union, i.e. Yeah. you had to do commercials, you had to do the work, whatever it was, it had to be a SAG yeah. paycheck for $18,000, and then you would get the basic level. And then the next you want is 32000 okay? Right. Now, trust me, these numbers have changed in the past year or so, but I applied for the first tier of health insurance for nine years straight. Oh. Say that in that way because you can go to Hollywood and go on the street and throw a rock and hit an actor, yeah. but throw a rock and hit an actor that makes enough through the union who books enough work consistently yeah. to qualify for over $30,000 worth of receipts yeah. for insurance. You're not gonna find that guy like that, my guy. And even to uh, one of the representatives one time, do the, it was a lady. She told me that this is off the record, but it's on the record with you. Less than 25% of the Screen Actors Guild qualify for health insurance at any level. So that means 75% of people who call themselves actors do not make eighteen thousand dollars at acting, yeah. and that it, 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 it's part of the world, and I get it, but it's never been part of my life. I'm the guy who always made over thirty thousand dollars acting, yeah, yeah. actor on my tax mm -hmm. type of stuff, and the uh, it, it just gets so. <sighs> it's such a feat to be able to make money in the union. Yeah. It's a feat to make comma money in the union. It's a feat to make comma money for years, almost decades. Like the pandemic screwed up. Nobody's shooting commercials like they used to. It's different. And so now I'm having to adjust to that. Um, plus people were trying to save money anyway and not pay back so much. And it was the race of the and so things were different in the union. Bottom line, what I do has a professional veneer, sir. I am professional and I'm a one of the best. And uh, real talk, only 25% of people call themselves actors or even in the neighborhood of doing what I do. Yeah, you're doing quite well. Considering. It's 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 sobering. It's very sobering. Yeah. And, and thank you and thank you for that. I I, I don't say it to like to my own. I say that to be like, yo, dog. <laughs> do you know how many people uh, just, are just actors going. in L.A. They don't even grand dog, bro. Like, how do you live your life, man? Uh, yeah. That's that's just not. Nah. I'm 40 years old, bro. I can't I can't hang out like that, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't do that, man. No, uh, you can't. Yeah, um, you you mentioned on your uh, blog. You mentioned going to France. What's going on with that? Uh, oh, so yeah. Um, and we're we're not sure what it is because you know France is not some like magic utopia, some medical utopia. Yeah, like man. nah, like nah, definitely not. Number have one. And have you been? There? Oh yeah. yeah! Oh, absolutely. My my lady, my lady's half French, so like I, there was a period of time where like systematically we would go visit the French family, and like what? Oh, is it Christmas? Oh, okay, let's go see Mammy and Peppy, and we take the flight for like fourteen hours, and we're all like salut, and like all we do all the stuff. So she's French, bro. She she's French. So through marriage, and multiple sclerosis, I'm French. Because of that, it's just one layer removed from yeah. being able to set myself up someplace else. 
Um, and how, that's how really what that's about. Uh, when you are in France, how do you find that the because the, of the, the you know the temperatures in France and the weather yep. in France is much yep. like England. So yep, what I find my biggest problem at the minute is summer. Uh, and when it's really mm. hot, uh, and that, yep. that can last about two weeks. But when it is hot, I yep. do not. I don't. I don't go outside at all. Nope. Nope. Are you like that? I mean, do you find? Is oh it yeah. Better in oh the yeah. States? Or, uh, yeah I, I I'm really 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 be, begin. It's not better anywhere. Okay. Yeah. The the idea of just having. A, a healthcare system that doesn't specifically want to squeeze the most amount of money out of me before I'm a bloody carcass uh, is sort of something that I'm uh, more aligned with. So I don't even know if like, I'm, I might be too sunny to be French. Like, this is me. And the French people are like, what is wrong with him? Why is he always smiling? But <laughs> um, there's has to there's some there's some sort of element in me that doesn't want to have to keep making the health health care insurance premium so I can qualify for of uh, you know a forty thousand uh, dollar a pop drug you know what I'm saying I got to do something else with my life man yeah well I'm I'm talking about the uh, the climate so the climate in the states is quite stable so it's it's look warm. at me. You know, if it's summer, it's summer. I see what you mean. I'm sorry. And then, yeah. you know, rather than being like England or France, it's up and down constantly. So it yeah, really yeah, yeah. To one climate. No, I, I just know that that's a factor. And so I deal with it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes it's hot, and then I don't do so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, well, that's, it. that's how I'm built. I'm not built. Some is going to stop me. There is it's just nothing. every time you do a vlog, it always looks sunny, and I'm thinking, how is he doing this? Because it's, it, you know, if I was out in the sun for more than 15 minutes, I'm yep. good for nothing. I'm, I'm well, literally, if I, if I go outside in the sun and stay mm -hmm. outside for more than 15 minutes, I'm literally crawling back in on my hands and knees. So. Yes, yes, you are. I'm here for that, and I, I receive that, and I understand. 7,000% what you mean, my man. And I know that there is, at least for me, there is like a, I have a certain period of time that I can, you know, be in a hot, yeah. be in it, like be in some condition I know I don't need, I can't be in. So if I'm filming, I'm like, it's hot out here, bro. I only got 15 minutes, bro. So you better shoot this vlog in 15 minutes, bro. And like that, that's how I'm built, man. Like I'm just I built, I just get it done, period. When you, you know, when you're talking about acting, if you have to make adjustments in your acting, so you know, if it's uh, filming on a hot day, you know you've only got so many minutes where you can stay in that yep. hot weather. Yep. It, it, again, like it, it, you just adjust on the fly and just hope that in the situation that you're going into work uh, for yeah. today, um, it, Works for your situation, and yeah. you know, I, I got to do this. Uh, you just kind of balance what you have to do with um, with what you got going on inside of you, and I, I do that as much as I can and try to mitigate all the bad stuff that can come ahead of time as much as I can, so I can show up and do my job. That's it. Yeah, fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, I'm working to say keep going doing that. So you're obviously doing a very good job at what you're, what you're doing. So. Thank you, man. Thank you. That means a lot no, for well, me I do, to hear I that. Do want to Thank you. More vlog from you uh, because the uh, oh. absolute <laughs> breath of fresh air. You know. Because Yo. You're so happy and you bring so much uh, uh, joy. Even though MS is far from joy, you bring joy to it i'm telling you right now <laughs> that's the one thought that when angela like no you can't shut it down bro you can't i know you want to but yeah. figure it out figure it figure it out now yeah. like make it twice a week make it twice 
month. Like, I don't know what it is. Just yeah. figure it out. Shut it down. Yeah. After I was like, you can't tell me what to do with my blog shit. I was like, huh, I can't shut it down because yeah. it brings people joy. Yeah. Well, sir. And I can't turn off the joy. Yeah. Well, sir, I mean, you, you, you're not only bringing joy, but you're bringing information to people. And that's, you know, w worth its weight and gold. You know? Wow. Thank you. It, it's funny, Lee, because uh, I'm I do short format things. So YouTube is long format, like two minutes and up. Instagram short format, for, short format, one minute maximum. Yeah. So as I'm growing that space and I'm yeah. seeing sort of like, yo, there's so many, so many comments, so much interaction, yeah. so much like, whoa, yeah. you feed that machine, man, the, uh, uh, the feedback from the machine is so much quicker than YouTube, man. Like YouTube, you put it together and you put it out and then people will see it and you got to, you know, say, but on Instagram, you know, if something's doing well. You know if something's not doing well, and you get to adjust on the fly like that. So I think that's kind of what you know allured me a little bit. Speaking so you, with you right here, Instagram right now, and maybe TikTok as well. So. Oh yeah, like no, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you see my Instagrams have been popping, popping, dude. Like, yeah. and they and they've been popping about MS too, yeah. um, and now they're popping about. Um, and multiple sclerosis because that the, those are like literally the two things I'm getting paid to do so I have to like turn those around big big time but man you're you're making me think of the end how I cannot shut the block yeah. you gotta keep the, the the cogs turning you know you gotta keep coming up with ideas so. oh absolutely so. It, it's no shortage of idea or want. It's just yeah. time, bro. It's just time. Yeah. So, right. it, it, you go, you go. No, no, go on. Finish speaking. Oh no, I, I just, I just, uh, I'm an actor. One, so like, I get those calls. Like, hey, I know it's seven thirty, but can you give me a tape by tomorrow at ten thirty in the morning? And I'm like, yes. Otherwise, you don't. Or. Doing the day in the day, and they're like, "Hey, I know it's two o'clock, but can you give me a tape by four thirty? And I'm like, "Yes." And then everything that I was doing for the day, or like whatever, yeah. to be reconfigured because I have to ship this tape to the studio so that I can maybe work a job to get my health insurance. Yeah. So well, it's things like that that throw me off. But you're helping keep me on, Lee. Yeah, at least at least you're busy and it's keeping you going. You know what I mean? So. Man. No, I, I, you, man, you were the, um, Angela, my wife is always, um, I listen to her even when I don't yeah, yeah. like it. <laughs> I listen to her. Um, and so, um, I was going to figure out some, cause I know I've been, I've been off the vlog schedule. I, yeah. Maybe it's once a month now. Maybe, maybe it's twice a month. Nah, I'll do once a month because like you said, man, I can't, I can't go away, man. No. You are out here, and future yous are out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, do whatever you can. Wherever you can, you bring in, you bring your joy to people. You bring in information to people in whatever medium you, you do it in. It doesn't matter. You you you're gonna bring that to the people. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's why I was like, no, Instagram bringing joy and information yeah. to people. And to leave me alone. And she's like, no, you have to bring joy and information to people on YouTube because we have 5,000 people there. So, and you brought them, you, I, and that's the other thing. I didn't buy them, bro. Every single person that's there, yourself included, is somebody that's there because of something that was in me that I needed to have out. And it resonated. And you needed to see it and you wanted to see more. And so at me as a performer, I just show up and I show up on time, I do my thing and I go away. So it was nothing for me to be like, okay, I'm done with this. Bye. Angela was like, um, my guy, you can't do that. You yeah. Can't, uh, you can't do that. You know, 
you, you know, you, you, you're um, quite a personality when it comes to MS uh, and the community in general. Apparently, Lee Barber, I, I think of myself as a certain thing and all of the things around it, like the accolades and the joy around it, I don't think about that because that's none of my business, Lee. My business is being my most authentic self in yeah, this space, you, you whatever I'm talking what about. You, you know. That's it. That's it. So it, it, my business is legit. Your it's our business now. So I, I can't. It's more than and you have um you've you've helped me understand that in so many ways. Um that so thank you. You're welcome. Uh just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, you, you, you are bringing a lot of information and, and joy to people, so please keep doing it. I know it's Absolutely. hard at times, but please keep doing it. It's, it's, it is devastating at times, man. I, I think that's the other part of it, too, because, like, yeah, I, I wear this guy. I wear this face. But, yo, I have the same shit you do, bro. Yo, I come on, man. Like, all of the things that... I haven't this, I haven't that, I haven't that own version of those things. And so that um, the space uh, where in between what you see and what it is, yeah, yeah. I'm still giving my, I'm still genuine. I think it's good to see different sides of that person. So there is, like I was saying before, the ups and downs. But when you're seeing the downside, it's not, outright misery it's just you know it's it's showing people it's okay to be like this you know it's you know it, it's just part of it yep well i you see i'm a, i can be a mess when when moved so there's been a few times on the vlog that um, i was so moved and i just started talking to camera and i thought it was good and I topped it up and Puyin was about to put it up and Angela watched it and she was like, don't, yeah. don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Be vulnerable. <laughs> don't, don't be that vulnerable, man. Yeah. That's not going to serve your population. Yeah. And like you think it's going to, well, I mean, uh, when, you know? with YouTube, uh, you can edit it out a lot. So you can edit out the bits that people might not want to say, but at the same time, it's stuff that people actually say. You know, they say I'm like that as well. You know, so they know it's normal. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. Well, this is the uh, part of the show where you uh, not only convince me, but it's not easy to convince me. Like I was convinced, you have like assured that no stress. I'm at nowhere. If no. my wife had like made sure she had like put that in my idea in my head yesterday, like don't do that. Yeah, have been like, yeah, bro, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Keep going. I, I, yo, it, it really, yo, I just got to say, it's really helpful for me to, to hear about how the vlog works for you on a weekly basis. Yeah, because yeah. you've already said I, you have 5,000 people viewing it, uh, subscribing to it. That yeah, amount man. of people is just one of many, you know, that number 5,000 that, that you know quadruple that you know triple it whatever uh, it'll be yeah. more than you, you have that more than you think because that obviously every time you do a video that video isn't just seen by one person they pass it on to somebody else or their their community their their group yeah so it, yeah it's reaching a lot of people yeah Wow, this is a very special episode of the Lady Barber podcast because Damon Washington is here crying his eyes out. Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to broaden the uh, so people see the ups as well as the downs, and you know. Oh yeah, yeah. This is again, like like you see, I try to bring as much as I can uh, yeah. to the space, but it's, a lot of times it's like it's a lot. Yeah. It's like no, okay, that's still, that's too much. Just, just put that yeah. back, son. Uh, just try again next week. Just don't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs>
yeah, man, you just you just did something. So yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for uh, being part of this podcast. Thank you for hell uh, showing different emotions and uh, the the general the general ride yeah. with MX is constant ups and downs. You know, it's, it's ups, okay. it's downs, it's okay. bro. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, you hold space to show people it's okay, and so do I. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're very welcome. <sighs> oh, See. oh, by the way, <laughs> because of, on, the, on a lighter note, because of what you do with the meditation, yeah. that yeah. inspired me to do meditate every day. Although. I don't Christ. do it for an hour like you do. I do yeah. it for half an hour, but I do, it, I do it twice a day for half an hour a piece. So that's brilliant, man! Yeah. Come on, you know it's just I see you. I see the thing that you do with your eyes closed, and then the, the clock ticks down to one hour, yep. and then you open your eyes again. I think, well, and then I'm know, ready. I mean, and I'm ready to go. Yeah, uh, people say to me. Uh, you know how do I meditate? Whatever. So you know, for me personally, is I was I was thinking exactly the same thing, and it was like there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just like, I mean, for me personally, like I say, uh, it's um, it's just thinking of a happy place, a time in your life when you're most happy. Wow. Uh, and going back to that place. That's it. So uh, my. My place, for example, is uh, I went to Zanzibar many years ago. And, Woo! Uh, yeah, yeah. And there was a spot, uh, I don't even know which island it was, but it was uh, in the middle of the ocean. In the middle mm. of the end of the ocean, right? Uh, and I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. there's nothing to see for miles, right? Mm. And I can see this one guy stood on one leg in the middle of the ocean. He's obviously stood mm. something, but it looked like he mm. stood in the middle of the ocean on one leg. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he was a Maasai warrior, uh, and they're, mm. they're, they're quite, they're everywhere. Mm. Uh, and he, he was there. I didn't speak to him. I didn't need to speak to him. It, it just, it, what, what I got from it was the feeling of peace. Uh, and then watching that guy stood in the middle of the ocean with the feeling of peace. So that's that's beautiful, did. man. That's beautiful. I go back to that wow. moment wow. Uh, every time, you know. Uh, wow. And that's when I meditate. That's what I visualize, if you like. Wow, that's brilliant. I am. Uh, wow. Thank you for sharing that with me, man. Yeah. Um, it's just every, because every, people don't know how to meditate. They say, "What do we do?" It's just, you know. Uh, like my dad has said the same thing. He said, "Well." <laughs> You know, what do I think about? I've got stuff to worry about. I said, that's the problem. I said, you have stuff to worry about. If somebody says to you, clear your mind, that's rubbish. Forget about that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. No. It's just taking you back somewhere where you're at your most peaceful, in a peaceful place. So at a time when I didn't have anything to worry about, and I was in a peaceful mm. place at the same time, mm. so it's, it's doing that. So the the heart transgressing. It is like the the heart beats, the mind thinks. Yeah. You are never going to stop your mind from thinking. No. So. Don't try to do that. Yeah. Sit down. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't move. <laughs> try to keep a certain thought in your head. Or, uh, you know, a time, maybe, maybe, try, just try. Yeah. And then in 20 minutes, you're done. And then in 15 minutes, you're done. Or in an hour, you're done. Or like, whatever. But there's, me personally, I walk. Yeah. The pain in my um, legs isn't as intense. Do you feel differently? Uh, how do you feel uh, when you meditate? Like, it's just, it's just everything that was worrying about before just gone so the, mm. the problem i get is 
so you, when I'm sat now, I'm at the, my work desk, for example. Well, that's where I do it, you know. So that's where I do the podcast and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. When I'm doing work, uh, I don't know if you've had this. You probably have, but um, I find my hands shake a lot. So yep. it's tr- tremors. Yep. Uh, and the tremors kick in, and I, I can't even type yep. on the keyboard. Yeah. Nope. Uh, no, nope. I find I find if I do meditate, that that's subdued a little bit. So yeah, it it chills out. Like I call it chilling out. It's yeah. like yeah, my pain isn't gone, but it's chilled out a little bit. Yeah, the tr- the balance is not great. No, out no. a little bit. You know, it's chilled out. Yeah. Wow. So I find it helps, it helps that way. So I just I just kept doing it. So. Whether they're mm. right or wrong, uh, it, it worked for me. That's it. That, whether you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong is none of your business, Lee. <laughs> absolutely right. You know. Your your business is go up. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And it, it, that's that's how things can be so stellar because yeah. you make your business not about the result but about the action itself. My business was making a video week, no matter what, yeah, yeah. no matter what. And no matter if it was awesome, no matter if it was shitty, it just make it. And now I'm here. And so now I'm making sure that I show up in other places, no matter what. Yeah. And I have to not let the vlog go, no matter what. No, no, <laughs> Hopefully, uh... As a result of you being on here, maybe you do another vlog, vlog uh, so we can all see you again. Oh yeah, no, this, it, man, look, this, come on, man, come on, man. They, again, believe me when I tell you, man, the um, lock the door, man. Like my lady I left the room and was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna do some. I put me back in the room and shut the door. You just. <laughs> okay. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's good. I hope you do. I hope you do it again. But obviously, you've got a lot more stuff to do, and you can't do everything at once. You you have to take it at your own pace. Uh, but what when you do do it, it makes yeah. a difference. You know. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't. I don't think about these things, Lee, because it's not my business. <laughs> I mean, I'm concerned with it, but it ain't my yeah. business, man. Thank you, man. And I can really remember that I'm doing more than showing up for myself. Yeah, that, that's why I do this. It's because it's going to go out there and people are going to see it and say, well, I actually, I have ups and downs and stuff like that. But seeing somebody else with the same thing, they said, no, no, no this is a mess, you know, this this is how it works and you can see that other people have got the same problem you know it doesn't matter whether it's uh, a certain drug or like uh, yeah or whatever it is they can see other people are like i've got a similar hey yo you're so you're already set to do that you're like set to go like you said yeah i bought the what? flight the flight's booked already <laughs> so i'm flying to moscow on wow. october 13th wow and so you're going to be there until November 13th. Yeah, be, hopefully I took a little camera thing that I've got, which is, a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, so I can set that. I've got a little tripod, I put it on, and hopefully I might be able to coax somebody else into doing an interview on that. So mm. whether that interviews mm. with uh, Anastasia or Dr. Fedorenko or, or just a patient, I'll do it. You know? I'll tell you this, I'm here watching you, Lee. Thank you. I'm watching you. And it, uh, I think now what I'm saying is to you is it gonna is helping. I don't care what it is. I just wanna see you. I wanna see you doing in this arena um, because I'm invested in it because I want to know the rest of this story. Yeah. Uh, it's it means a lot yeah, I mean, that you were able to get yourself. Is anybody in your uh, group that uh, on your on your 
uh, your 5,000 uh, that wants to do a podcast. Yeah, I'll do it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe, maybe they want a podcast with you. That's something different. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you, uh, the MS Gym, uh, Brook Slick, are these names that are ringing bells to you? Yeah, they do, yeah. That's, okay. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, just because Brooke, Brooke is the. Brooke is on my Facebook, and yeah. Got it. She's the only other HSCT person yeah, I know who's, who's, who's yeah. done it and is, and is yeah, an advocate for it. She went to Moscow and did it uh, years ago. Uh, yeah. It was uh, what Brooke did to fundraise for her treatment. Uh, I followed a similar path, but because the pandemic wow. kicked in, when the pandemic happened, all fundraising mm. just stopped. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, like I say, my podcast, I've been before, uh, I've been on it before, where we talk about HSET, and I always say, it's not for everybody. You know, there's, there's some people that, uh, they can't afford it or they can't fundraise or they can't even think of doing anything like that. And that that's that's bad. This is why I, I thought it was important to get somebody like you on it as well, because mm. you're talking mm. about Ultraverse, which is fully available mm. in England, for example. Yeah. yeah. So wow. I to see somebody else that that's on Ultraverse, that, uh, that are quite happy to be on Ultraverse and it's working, mm. you know. Yeah, I'm legit a interested in the, the the procedure. Stops the MS. So, and Ocrevus is not really known for that. It's known for yeah, slowing yeah. it down and, yeah. and turning down the volume on it. Nah, yeah. HSCT smacks it in the face and is like, you don't yeah. go any farther from here. Yeah. Like I say, before, when I, before MS, for example, I was uh, a boxer. I don't, I'm, yeah. In my opinion, the only way I can knock HS, the only way I can knock MS out, is by HSET. Wow. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a, a fully well known term initially. Yeah. Obviously, with uh, doing the podcast and uh, just getting it out there, I, I was on BBC uh, yesterday. Yeah. Why they want to talk to you? Why? 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 What, what, what they, they want to do to make them look look to you? They, they want to know about uh, people with MS uh, and the pandemic wow. and how we have coped in the pandemic. Huh. Because obviously, um, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Out of all the people who was in England, they found you. Uh, no, it's just um, it's just uh, because of the pandemic. Every all the. Uh, you know restrictions in place i'm not sure what it's like in the states at a minute but um you know uh, we're just coming out of it now so yeah there's a lot of uh, stigma with mass for example uh, mm. the government uh government have uh, n have made mass not they're not mandatory anymore so you don't have to wear them. so it was what came up in the BBC um, interview was uh, they asked me how do I feel about that uh, and I said oh mm. not great to be honest because obviously if I come back from Moscow I will be vulnerable they're really vulnerable wow in fact, yeah when you have yeah HSVP, yeah uh, you, you go into isolation afterwards which is you're in a clinical room yeah and you stay in that room for I think it's I think it's uh, four days. But after that, when you come back home, your immune system, you're like a newborn baby. You know, you've yeah, got yeah. no immune system. So that is a worry. That's a worry for me. So what we're talking about in the BBC was uh, people wearing masks. Uh, and it's uh, wow. just a general, um, like it's a, just a general uh, common courtesy just to wear a mask because it's other people that uh, you don't know mm. what they've got going on it might not be a mask it might be cancer. oh yeah it might be something else you know but they, they, they're they conscious of germs and things like that the last thing they want is uh, coronavirus yeah. there's um a school of thought uh, i'm not even going to take the highest level of this 
it's just the school of thought that a person can be in service to for themselves yeah. or they can be of service to others yeah. period and much of the time myself included you are of service to yourself and putting a mask on is more like service to others than it is service to yourself in some yeah. regard so that you not only not but even if you have it and you don't know you you're not spreading it or whatever so you wear it to protect yourself and wear it to protect and i think so that it's part a of it win situation so i don't it's a win-win I do because most people are only in service for themselves. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. A lot of people, particularly in England, they'll complain about the masks all the time and say, oh, God, I can't breathe. I can't, you know, I can't. Uh, I just want to breathe air. You know, it's like, for God's sake, you know, just, just wear your mask. For God's sake, you, you, you're only going just to wear your mask, off. bro. Yeah, yes, yeah, you, know, you get coronavirus in your lungs. You is not even going to yeah. be able to have enough breath to think, oh, I need some air. So I, I would I would calm down with all that, my man. Just just calm down. Just relax, yeah. fam. You know, it's um, people, it's service to yourself, it's a service to others. And most people are service to themselves. And I get it, because you live with you. But being in a disease community shows yeah. you how to be of service to others yeah. and yeah. still not take Bro, you you gotta edit this thing, man. There's like an hour of uh, of footage oh, here. No, yeah. Uh, I was thinking, I was thinking before maybe just keep it down to half an hour, but it just conversation just goes on. Obviously, yeah. We just, but... yeah. <laughs> Technical <laughs> things aside, even if you do patch it together, it's still like over forty. Yeah. As a guy who is editing, like whenever I do interview, I always keep the interviews to fifty minutes. Because I have, and just been like, great, the interview is over, and now we just talk, because I, I, ooh, it's so, it's so much, it's I know. so well, much. I've got to be aware of you, for you and me is fatigue, so that kicked in a, a couple of podcasts. Uh, they've asked me to do it quite late at night, and I'm like, oh, I, 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 right. I, I mean, I forgot to set the microphone to a certain level and i think why don't you not do that, that that's brain fog mm, that's brain fog yeah, just completely uh, yeah. well i'm i'm glad that um we all got it together to be yeah. in this space um yeah. for for you and i hope that whatever you make will serve the people who you make it for well yeah, yeah. hopefully you get some information of people and hopefully you'll be back in the game. You'll be maybe, you know, even if it's once a month, just do a vlog yeah. for everyone. Yeah. yeah, I gotta, I know I'm slacking, man. Um, and my wife just cracked the door. So I was like, yeah, Angela, he, is, Lee is like, yeah, no, you haven't been posting your vlogs, bro. Yeah, what's wrong so, with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because people enjoy them, you know? You, you, yeah, no, you know. no, no. I, I locked the door, man, and that's, I cannot tell you how significant that was. I'm not. You, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah. Okay. That's it. <laughs> no, thank well, you, Lee. Thank you so much for doing this podcast. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate the emotion. I, I appreciate the, the the smiles. I appreciate everything. So thank you. Yo, I appreciate you, man. I'm I'm at your service. So holler at your boy accordingly. And um, man, I can't wait to see how you go through this HSCT stuff, man. Oh, I can't wait. Like I say, uh, I'll, I'll be doing, I would, I'll be doing uh, interviews and podcasts while I'm there. So I'll put that out straight away. So, Hey, man, peace and good luck and blessings and thank you. Um, and I'm going I'm to try to keep making you proudly, Barbara. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh man. Thanks. I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you, man. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, man.
Peace.